Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Box Office Talk. This is the show where I break down what happened at the box office, see if my predictions for the top five are correct, and then make predictions for next week's top five. So let's get right on into it. Last week, I predicted that number one would be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Number two would be King Arthur Legend of the Sword. Number three would be Snatched. Number four would be Fate of the Furious. And number five would be The Boss Baby. And I got a good three out of five of my predictions right. Number two and number three that I predicted were surprisingly flip-flops. So let's go over what actually actually happened. Number one was once again Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. No real surprise here because honestly who actually thought that King Arthur or Amy Schumer was going to take Guardians of the Galaxy down? Of course nobody thought that but it did make 63 million dollars this weekend that adds to a domestic total of 246 million dollars and on the worldwide chart it is sitting at 630 million dollars that is so good for this movie it only needs like 370 million more to get to like a billion dollars and I'm thinking at at the pace it's going at right now it might be able to it probably won't be one of the biggest billion dollar makers I guess and, but I think it will be able to get there or at least get very close to getting a billion now at number two this is where we get the flip-flop is actually Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn snatched which made 17 million dollars this weekend and this is only on a budget of 42 million so it only needs to get 84 million in total to be considered a success once it doubles the budget and I'm thinking maybe it'll have a good run domestically and maybe the worldwide will bump it up a little bit so I'm thinking that this movie is doing okay but I was honestly so surprised that it was actually able to get number two maybe it is because it is the Mother's Day weekend and this is a movie about a daughter and her mom so that probably is it but I was honestly just really surprised that more people wanted to see this over number three which was King Arthur Legend of the Sword only making 14 million dollars this weekend now compared to Guy Ritchie's big movies because you have some of his other movies like Rock and Roll and Snatch that open in like a few theaters they weren't really big releases there's the only four movies of his that got open like in over like 2,000 theaters are the Sherlock Holmes movies Man from Uncle and this movie and so far this is his second lowest opening as far as the big budget movies go it the Man from Uncle did a million dollars less but still this is not a good opening for this movie at all especially since its budget is 175 million dollars and even on the worldwide chart it is only sitting at 43 million there's no way it's going to be able to get to the doubling point of 350 million there's really no way that this is going to be a franchise like it's screwed at this point but hey they probably should have known what to expect when they hired Guy Ritchie so uh, that's that's on them that's on the studio at number four we have Fate of the Furious making five million dollars this weekend adding to a domestic total of 215 million dollars and on the worldwide chart it is sitting at one point 193 billion dollars that is so good for this movie it is very interesting to see it die down a little bit but it's still some of the highest grossing movies of the weekend so that is pretty good it's still in the top five even though it's down to only making five million uh, but that's still pretty good. It's honestly just because the summer season is getting started up and we have to move on from the April drought that we pretty much had box office wise because Fate of the Furious like opened up like midway and it had to last for a while as far as making the most money. And now we have number five, which is The Boss Baby, which made $4 million this weekend, adding to a total of $162 million. And on the worldwide chart, it is at $456 million. Only $44 million left to get to $500 million worldwide. Not sure if it'll be getting there because it is dying down a lot more. I'm hoping it doesn't because this movie sucks, and I don't want to encourage them to make any more movies like this or a sequel to The Boss Baby, but you never know in this crazy, crazy industry known as... Hollywood. And now at number six, we have Beauty and the Beast, which made $3.8 million, adding to a domestic total of $493 million. And on the worldwide chart, it is at $1.206 billion. So if you want to do a quick comparison, Fate of the Furious is only about uh, 13, million, 13 million away from matching up to Beauty and the Beast. And that means that Fate of the Furious is soon going to outgross Beauty and the Beast worldwide. It took a while, but it's actually able to do it, it which is kind of weird because Fate of the Furious had a higher worldwide opening weekend compared to Beauty and the Beast. I thought it would be kind of uh, quicker getting to uh, surpass Beauty and the Beast, but hey, this is still really good for this film. Number seven, we have How to Be a Latin Lover. It's still here, I guess. It made $3.7 million. This movie almost beat out Beauty and the Beast, and it might when the actual numbers come in. But that adds to a domestic total of $26 million on a budget of 10 So, so far, they have a $6 million gain. That is just 
terrific for this movie that looks like a pile of crap, but whatever. Number eight, we have Low Riders, that Blumhouse tilt movie that no one thought was going to get into the top five because it was opening in so little theaters. And of course, everyone was right, but it made $2 million this weekend, so that's pretty good. On Wikipedia, I tried to check for the budget, and it gave me a weird random number, so I'm going to round it and say that it's a million dollars. So technically, they just doubled their budget, which is great for this movie that I probably won't see. Because honestly, who knows what Lowriders is, you know what I mean? But number nine, we have The Circle, which made $1.7 million, and that adds to a total of $18 million. Now, its budget is also $18 million, but technically that means it's only halfway there. It would need to get $18 million more to be considered a success, and there's just no way it's going to make any more money at this point. It is done for. And also, speaking of done for, this is the last time that I'll be able to pronounce this word. At number 10, Bahu Bali, the conclusion, making $1.5 million this weekend, adding to a total of also $18 million. Once again, not sure what the budget is, but I'm assuming that it's doing very well because on uh, on the worldwide charts, like the specific like places this movie is doing very well in India, they won't add up the total, and I'm honestly just too lazy to do that myself because math bores me, but but uh, this is still pretty good for Bahu Bali. It pretty much is doing very well, even though domestically it only got to 18 million. Now it's time for the fun part, the predictions for next week's top five. I'm going to say number one will be Alien Covenant for sure. Then number two, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, two space movies in the top two. Then I'm going to say number three is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. I think that might have a shot, but who really knows because the other three Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies didn't do terrifically opening weekend, but they still did okay. Then I'm going to say number four is Everything Everything because that's a teen, you know, drama. It's probably going to bring in all the young adults in the audience. And then I'm going to say number five is Snatch. But what are your predictions for next week's top five? Leave it in the comments below. And if you got your predictions right for this week, you're going to get a shout out right now. Unless you didn't get it right then, I'm sorry. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Vulture. See you guys next time.